Welcome guys, I'm Al. I'm Roberto. And this is the Call of Whiskey. All, All hail cow. cow. Today we're talking about the Chivas Mizanar Oak. Let's take a look. Welcome back. So today's whiskey is a blended malt scotch. It's a blend of both malt and grain. It's a non-age statement whiskey, but we know it's really about 12 years in reality. It's 40% ABV. It is chill filtered. There is E150 added to it, so it's caramel coloring. And it says Mizanara Oak on the bottle, but we know it's actually just a portion of that was finished in Mizanara Oak. Why is that? Well, there's a lot of reasons for that. So Mizanara Oak is very expensive. If you ever see a Mizanara Oak tree, it grows wild. I'm gonna put a picture on screen right now and you can see the branches. So the wood has to be 200 years or older in order to even harvest the wood. And once you do harvest it, it's soft, delicate, and porous, which means it's hard to make it into cast without even breaking. And once you do make it into cast, it's prone to leaking. Then why even use Mizanara Oak? Well, the answer is simple. During World War II, uh, they couldn't import from America or Europe, uh, so they, they really used Mizanara Oak as a last resort. Uh, and when they aged the whiskey in Mizanara Oak, they found that it was terrible, and so they stopped <laughs> using it. They put them to the side, and then uh, after World War II, they went back to using sherry cast and American oak. And then, uh, and then 20 years later, somebody opened up a barrel and found Eureka. This is actually really good. It just takes longer to age. So for that reason, most of Mizanara Oak is usually just a porcelain of use because it's just really expensive and hard to use, right? Except with one exception. The Yamazaki 18 is 100% uh, Mizanara Oak. Well, the Yamazaki 18 Mizanara Oak, right? But it's super expensive and rare. Well, that makes me excited. Let's go to the poor. History time. Founded in 1786, Chivas Brothers is owned by the French company Pernod Ricard. This Chivas Mizanera is the world's first blended scotch whiskey, selectively finished in Japanese Mizanera oak cast. Originally only released for the Japanese market, this special edition of Chivas Regal blended scotch whiskey was inspired on a trip to Japan by the master distiller Colin Scott. For more history on Chivas, check out our review of Chivas 21 Royal Salute, linked above and below. All right, let's take a look at the nose. Well, it's delicious on the nose. No, absolutely. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's, you know, like soft peaches, pears. A little bit of caramel. Yeah, absolutely. You get that vanilla. You get sort of that floral, floral. note. Yeah, that floral yeah, note that you, would, that, that you would expect out of a Japanese whiskey. Yeah. You know, you do get that. A citrus peel. Yeah, and you get the same cut grass that you get off of the original Chivas 12. And like a hint of grapefruit. Yeah, smell that. Grapefruit, and yeah. Let's take a look at the palate. I mean, sweet honey, floral notes, hazelnut. Chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. Like a chocolate cinnamon. Kind of like a lighter cocoa type of chocolate. Mm hmm And the finish is spicy. You can feel yeah. it on your tongue. Yeah, yeah. And it's, and it's like super spicy and floral. It's not, it's not too thin. You know, this is a pretty pretty amazing whiskey. I've had, I've had it a couple times and I've never been disappointed with it. Oh yeah, no, it dances on the tongue very well. Mm -hmm. Let's try some water. Thins it out a little bit. Yeah, it thins it out a, a bit too much for me, but that floral mm -hmm. note com comes out a little bit more. Yeah. And that grass note is definitely, uh, is definitely more prominent with a little bit of water. But it got rid of all that spice. But you do have that, um, that grapefruit yeah. Like if you're biting into a grapefruit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like a like a citrusy, like sour. Very, very tangy. Mm -hmm. Very good. I'm, I'm very much enjoying this. Yeah. Let's try some ice. Thins it out a lot. <laughs> yeah, but it's an easy sipper. No, no, absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, a, yeah. it's an easy sipper. I, I like it. Yeah. I could drink this all day. It's hot as hell over, over here now yeah. tonight, yeah, yeah. right? Especially with the lights and everything. It's hot as f right now. Um, and with with the ice, I, I could really, I, I could get this all day. Refreshing. Mm -hmm. Again, with the uh, mm -hmm. with that citrusy flavor, uh, cooling it down, just yeah. absolutely refreshing. Yeah. No, that. Uh, you know, that, uh, that fresh cut grass, again, you know, with water and ice that really comes out. Not so much neat, but uh, with water or ice, that, that fresh cut grass really comes out a lot. And like a bitter dark chocolate. Yes. Like bitter dark, dark chocolate. Opens up that flavor more. Mm -hmm. The floral note is gone when you yes. put on ice. Spices as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah, gone. Yeah. I think I like, you know, definitely neat. 
need I prefer it the most and on ice mainly because it's so hot and you know I'm getting yeah. on ice you know? yeah what's the price point on this it's 45 to 55 bucks so for a Mizanera oak whiskey uh, it's actually a very reasonable price I don't think I've ever found a Mizanera oak whiskey that was priced at this level again it's only a portion of it and who knows you know one drop here one drop there yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, Mizanar Oak. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, it's good. Yeah, you know, absolutely. And, but I've never had a Shivas that I didn't like. You know, and, you know, even the 21, it's overpriced, but it's still good. Yes, right? absolutely. Like, so. Still good. so, what shelf would you put this on? Uh, I keep this on the second shelf. It's not quite budget, but it's not quite complicated enough to go up to like a third shelf or anywhere near top shelf. But it's definitely a, a solid second shelf whiskey for me. Well, on that note, our toast today is, as you slide down the banister of life, may the splinters point the wrong way. All, All hail, hail cow. cow. And... <laughs> Bro. Bro, you're dying. Hey, you're getting great blooper reels, man. Yeah.